preparations seem to be going very well. It's only a matter of time before the opposing faction makes their move. Stay focused on the objective. The objective. I need to discuss that with you. Is that so? I still don't understand my purpose here. I joined you because my previous life is gone forever. But I still don't know why you came to me. You've spent centuries hunting down and capturing alternate versions of your rival, Ben Tennyson, and that was before all of this. Surely you can handle him on your own, especially after your upcoming procedure. This, Benjamin, is different. His world is what Time Walkers refer to as the Prime Timeline. As if my world was some kind of alternative, inconsequential. Ben Prime's power is commendably overwhelming. He is the only one that can truly defeat me, which is why you're going to kill him. Hello? Is anyone in here? Is this a bad time? Uh, uh what? What? Oh no, it's fine, thanks. Is everyone ready? I may not be one of your kind, but I know what it is like to be human. I think about my loved ones every day. Their thought is what helps motivate me in this job. It's not that. Well, I mean, I do miss them. But all this... I've never had to deal with anything on this scale before. What if I can't protect them from this? What if we don't make it and then Eon... I never even got to say goodbye, huh? The hero does not fail. At least, that is what Ben tells me. Do you believe him? So far it has worked for him. So I have no reason to doubt it myself. <laughs> Are you guys coming? The longer we wait here, the longer I gotta resist squashing this bug for playing bait for Eon. And wrecking the ship! We should go. You foolish meat treaters! You expect me to reveal my secrets to such impudent, stupid, smelly- You realize my girlfriend captured you the second we knew you were there, right? And once I escape, I'll replace each of your organs with explosives and rubber worms. Is this guy for real? <laughs> Sending the scrawny one to torture me. Pathetic. You're the one to talk, and I'm not here to torture you. Okay, now hold still. This will be over before you know it. Get back! I'm warning you! Learn anything? Yeah, that Eon doesn't like to share. But now I at least know where he's going. Some desert in Zim's universe. That's his name, by the way. Zim. I also learned that he was planning on betraying Eon for his native race's armada. Not that he'd really have a chance. Do we? Of course we do! We stopped him when we were kids! Now we have his location, and can prevent any future danger. This is Eon, Ben. We're already in danger. With his power, that could have been hundreds of years ago for him. We don't even know how powerful he is right now. So where does Eon come from? It's kind of a long story. He's like Ben's evil future, but not. Oh, one of those things. His origin doesn't matter. He's a time walker. That's why we're hiding out in this pocket dimension, so he can't track us. We are also low on power and fuel. Look, Ben, you have a transformation that can end all of this with a blink of an eye. The clock's ticking, so why don't you put that watch to full use? You know why I can't. Can't? Or won't? This is bigger than your ego, Tennyson. Do you really think I'm making this about me right now? You're going out of your way to make this harder for us to do our job. I'm going out of my way to do what's right! Ben, I don't understand. What exactly is this alien? I call him Alien X. He's my most powerful transformation. With just a thought, he can do pretty much anything. Which is why he is our best chance at stopping Eon before this goes too far. You too, Rook? I'm sorry, Ben. But Kevin is right. No, not like this. Guys, I'm no god. It's not my place to alter reality at will just because I can. If I treat the universe like my own custom playground, what kind of world would I be saving? It wouldn't be genuine. It wouldn't be life. Every single alien in this watch matters. I'm supposed to be an example of that. If I always used Alien X to save the day, people would start looking to me for approval as if I was the determining vote between right and wrong. 
It's nobody's right to feel that way. And that's exactly why we can't let Eon win. Ben, I know you want to do things the right way. And you know Eon more than I do. So I'm going to trust your decision. But what are we going to do? Kill him? Are you sure? From what you've told me, that thick-headed man-child is one of the most powerful beings in the Omniverse. One of them, yes. I'm flattered by your faith in me, but I don't think- <gasps> What is this? Is this place real? Your wounds? I'm sure you're familiar with string theory. The Cronians developed a more refined study called the Trey's Yao Gao concept the basic knowledge of existing beyond reality. It became the foundation of our people. Picture the multiverse like a collection of paper maps. Each map represents a different universe. Every map can be folded into a unique shape. Like how every universe defines their physics through intersecting planes, all interwoven with each other. But there are certain restrictions on how you can fold each map. No matter how insignificant or catastrophic the difference between each universe is, they must all exist within a variation of the basic fundamentals of reality. Except Ecto Energy. Ecto Energy plays by a different set of rules. Like this can of water, effortlessly disintegrating this dexterity crafted figurine. There is no combination of paper folds that could stop it from drenching this paper beyond repair. I don't understand. How? No one has ever really figured it out. It tells from an ungraspable plane which you call the ghost zone. It scientifically shouldn't exist. This ecto energy is the only compound that can transcend all rules and make the Trey Xiao Gao concept ineffective. This is a lot to take in. Don't you see it? Your world is filled with gods roaming the street who use their powers to dress up as pirates and levitate cardboard boxes. If you push yourself, you will discover that your limits are non-existent. Your humanity is the only thing holding you back. You could tear a hole in reality with a finger's gesture. You could transcend time. You could even bring a celestial sapien to its knees. All of this, no consequence, no complications. Do you truly understand, Vlad Masters, what you are capable of? If all of that's true, that means everything isolated from the ghost zone can be affected, even you. I wouldn't ponder that if I were you. You may be my wild card, Vlad. But don't think I don't know how to shuffle. For formality's sake, I will ask you once more. Do we have a deal? On one condition. We're still doing our best to contain the Limax infestation before it reaches the Milky Way. Things are starting to break into an all-out war. It's okay, Grandpa. Thanks for answering my call. Nice spirit, by the way. Thank you, son. Wish I could say the same thing for you. I'm just messing around, Ben. We don't have much time for humor out in the barracks. Your hair does seem to be getting longer, though. You're pretty thin, too. Have you been taking good care of yourself? I've been pretty busy trying to fill your shoes as commander. Can't exactly worry about pristine grooming when it's always hero time. Now, Ben, taking care of yourself is the only way you can take care of others. That is what hero time is all about, don't you remember? Of course I do, Grandpa. It was the night I first got the Omnitrix. I just destroyed one of Vilgax's Leviathan thrones and saved all those campers. But I couldn't sleep that night. I felt distracted. Like when you know it's time to do something important? Sort of... It was a feeling I've never felt before. It's a strange mix of fear and confidence. I was only ten years old, and suddenly the lives of everyone at that park was on me? You told me that's what it's like to feel like a hero. That when I'm out there, I can't let that feeling control me. 
Only guide me. Every time I'm too scared to think clearly, I need to remind myself that it's time to be a hero. I guess, at the time, turning that advice into a battle cry pretty much did the trick. But now... Now I don't even really know what Eon's plan is. I don't know how I'm going to beat him. I've lost every battle in this mission so far to do things the heroic way. What if being a hero isn't enough anymore? Son, being a hero isn't about fighting what's wrong to defend what's right. It's about finding the balance and bringing peace among conflict. But this isn't about being a hero. When have you gotten out of bed and not expected the world to be in danger? And how many of those times have you had a plan? I didn't make you commander because I wanted you to be like me. I put you in charge because people trust you. You always have a way of figuring things out. You're only as good as the hero you think you are. I'm so proud of you, Ben. You've really grown into a strong leader. Whatever happens, I know you're gonna be okay. You're Ben Tennyson. You can do anything. I miss you, Grandpa. I miss you too, Ben. <laughs> Find the balance. There you are, Ben. We've patched the coordinates that you got from Zim to the corresponding location. Did you come up with a plan? Nope, you're going to take the lead on this one. Um, what? Vlad's attacks, this ecto energy, it really does a number on my aliens. I'm sure this fact is the core bond between Eon and Vlad. This is true. As powerful as Eon is, he has been having Vlad do all of the physical combat by himself. If Eon isn't fighting his own battles, he's either got something bigger up his sleeve, or for some reason he can't. Maybe both, but something about Vlad's abilities is unique. If it can mess with my transformations, maybe it can do the same to Eon. Luckily, we have our own Ecto Energy powerhouse. Send the rookie in head first? <laughs> Kinda cruel if you think about it. Hey, I'm no rookie. It's just been a while. Plus, I don't think this is going to go down how you think it is. Danny, right now, you're our best chance of putting an end to all of this. I don't know how, but you couldn't have been brought here by accident. Not only do you have a connection to Vlad, you have the same powers as him too. The only difference is he's fighting for himself, and you're fighting for others. Ben, you don't get it. I can't- Can't what? Fight? You survived this long and you're still standing. Lead? You stepped into the Null Void without a second thought, just to make your father happy. Win? Aren't you the one with dozens of statues around your planet and a holiday dedicated to your heroics? You're not afraid of battle. You're afraid of having others depend on you. But we need you more than ever right now. You're only as good as the hero you think you are. My grandpa told me that because he believes in me. Do it for the ones that believe in you. Well, I've come this far. Guess I should see this through to the end. Alright, let's go kick some alien butt. Rook, put the ship on lockdown. Make sure Zim doesn't try to escape. That means all remaining power goes towards alarms and his containment brace. Welcome, Reprimanders. We've patiently waited for your arrival, for you to bear witness to my evolutionary awakening. You waited for us? Cut the shit, Eon! We're done with your magic tricks! Whatever this is, we're shutting it down! You still haven't figured it out? How unsatisfying. However, my generosity with our time has come to an end. They all look just like you, Ben. I think they are me. I don't remember your eyes glowing blue like that. <laughs> you like that? They're so well behaved. Mind control? Technus can only control technology. I don't know how he's pulling this off. Oh, I can still hear you down there, brat. 
And the answer is nanites. Pretty sweet, eh? Got them from a few dimensions over. That multiverse is quite the trip. Now, check this out. A new dawn begins tonight. Searching for greatness in a sea of the diamonds.